mental warfare is superior to spiritual warfare. Every day you are doing fasting and prayer. You are doing night vigil, 21 days night vigil, 34 days night vigil, 100 days midnight prayer. Let me tell you, mental warfare is superior to spiritual warfare. Because any warfare you war in the spirit, if your mind does not agree with your warfare, it's a useless warfare, it's charismatic affliction, it's corporal punishment. The reason is because we have reduced our life to prayer and to warfare, pulling down stronghold, breaking generational cause, going to village, uprooting trees. When you finish uprooting the trees and come back, your landlord is still pursuing you. Because that tree you uproot, you didn't uproot it in your mind. That altar you broke there, you didn't break it in your mind. You see, I have this mindset, this reasoning that somebody is after me. Somebody is pursuing me. Somebody is after me. My uncle will not leave me alone. Where will they stop leaving me? You have some people following you. Papa, where will they leave me? Where will they leave me? Why would they leave me alone? My friend, leave yourself alone first. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Why would they receive the gospel? The Bible said, because the God of this world has blinded their mind. In whom the God of this world has what? Blinded their minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So the reason they are sinners is because their mind didn't accept salvation. How did you become born again? You accepted him in your mind. That's all. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. If any man opens, I will come in. Your mind and your heart are scripturally many times the same and they are used interchangeably to, to mean the same thing. Is somebody hearing what God is saying to us? So every child of God must understand that if God must save you, he comes through your mind. If the devil must massacre you, he comes through your mind. If your mind is not delivered, forget it. Every miracle begins with a word thinking process. When you think the word, then no miracle comes. When you think, okay, look at the woman with the issue of blood. For she said in her heart, Oh, you didn't hear that. I hear you, sir. Until she thought it, she didn't have it. She said in her heart, <laughs> If I may <laughs> touch the aim of his garment. I, not my brother, I, not the congregation, I, not others that are pushing, I shall be made whole. Hear me, when she taught it, she manifested. There were many blind people with blind Bartimaeus. But why? Blind Bartimaeus taught it first. Who is passing? Jesus of Nazareth. Is it that man I heard he used to heal the sick? Yes. The mind accepted it that he has what I'm looking for. Jesus! They shut his mouth down, but they didn't shut his heart. No, no, no. Talk to me, sir. You didn't hear what I said. I hear you, sir. They didn't shut what the mind was saying. Somebody said, shut up. This is GRA, government reserve area. We don't make noise here. He said, eh? We don't make what? <laughs> he might tell and say, if this man pass, he don't pass. So, Jesus! That son of David, somebody say he didn't come for people like you. Shut up. He's not people like you. If it's people like you, he, he would have healed many of you like that. His mind saying a lie. Jesus, that son of David, have mercy on me. Bam. He's the only one that said it because his mind agreed. Not even the attack of many people could stop what his mind agreed. And his miracle manifested. Show me any miracle. Is a word thinking process that bats that miracles. Am I talking to somebody here? It's a word thinking process that bats such miracles. Sir, every outstanding miracle is traceable to your reason. Okay, the prodigal son, he reasoned his way out of captivity. You can reason your way out of any bondage. Just sit and say, enough of this. I told you how I sack poverty in my life. Those days, we borrow, we have credit book. Then the woman refused to give us more credit. One day, the way I was looking, she called me back. 1992. She said, you know, get mama. Because I see that among you, you are the smallest. And truly, Dr. Damina, all of them were my senior. He said, 
You know, get mama. I said, get mama. He said, go home. <laughs> For one week, anywhere as a movie, you know, get mama. You know, get mama. We never, one day we did not eat for seven months. Re ever. It was soaking. I saw Gary to a point that if Gary were to grow my head out, I had plenty done wrong. Sometimes I will put Gary and soak it and go on compulsory stroll. Not because I want to stroll, so that on my return, the valley can become a mountain. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. One day we didn't eat for months. And we visited a woman who has a restaurant. She said, the way you people are looking, I don't like it. Wait, 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 let's give you food as you have finished prayer. If you see us pray three days non-stop, but poverty has not left us alone. My neck was straight. Like the oil barbe. So the woman brought a bowl of rice and dropped it. She said, let me go and bring water. Before she came back, that's how she hold water. Eh? The rice has disappeared in three minutes. <laughs> she, she dropped the water to go and bring another more rice. The water has disappeared. She looked at the water, look at us. Drop the rice. Before she bring another water, the rice has disappeared. He said, my children, God will bless you people though. As you are going, may the Lord bless you. I say, yes, ma. We are going. <laughs> we are going. Then we began to stay on the word. Our mind began to change. Today, prosperity. We don't even know what to do with food, all of us. Because when our mind changed, our results changed. 